All right, Coach, when you're ready. Life on the road. You know, we, we came out today and we, we let Iowa hit their rhythm. We knew offensively they're an extremely talented basketball team. They got out in transition early. 14 transition points for the game is far too many. Um, with the emphasis that we talked about coming into the ball game, I thought we did some really good things to battle back into the game. We threw some zone at them, threw them off a little bit, and we were able to make some plays and get within striking distance. Keegan Murray's a he's a first round draft pick. He's a lottery pick, and, and that's what one looks like. And we got a chance to see it up close and personal today. No moral victories but there's some areas where we feel like we get better. We'll give ourselves a chance to win any game that we play in. Uh, I guess kind of going off that, what did you like about the way they fought back from the down 12? And then on the opposite side, what would you like to see better in the last few minutes to kind of close it out? Show some determination to get back into the ball game. But on the flip side, let's, let's not put ourselves in that situation. Let's, let's have a little bit better sense of uh, attention to detail and, and urgency in our transition points, um, second chance opportunity points and things of that nature. So like I said, I mean, there's some things that we've definitely got to get better at, but there are also some things that we did well. You know, I, I thought um, our effort level um, gave us a chance and that's what you want on the road. You want to be within striking distance. So we weren't quite within striking distance but we continued to battle and fight. And then with Keegan Murray, obviously a really good player, but what specifically impressed you about what he did and was it anything different than maybe what you were expecting? As advertised, and that's not a knock. He's, he's a great basketball player. He's a terrific basketball player. And, you know, going into any game, you put together your scouting report, things that you have to be okay with giving up to a certain extent because you're not going to take away everything, right? Teams are too talented, coaches are too good, players are too skilled. And for us, it was, if he's shooting threes, let's, let's make sure we can test it. And, you know, he knocked down five of them. Yeah, he, I mean, so he, he did it inside, he did it outside, had some good blocks, offensive rebounds. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's a complete total package and, uh, as a basketball fan, I appreciate what he does out there on the court, just as a fan of, of the game. Um, but yeah, we didn't we didn't do enough to to slow him down. But he's a handful. Sean, yeah, go ahead, Bruce. Yeah, Coach. Uh, once again, the team really got off to a slow start, and from that point on, you really outplayed them after the first four or five minutes points wise, what do you have to do to get that turned around? Is it a matter of personnel or, you know, it, it's just unusual as well as they played after that spell. I think one thing we have to do is early on, they were getting far too many transition points. You know, they were getting out in transition and we knew that they were a very talented team in transition. And so, you know, we have to understand when we're in transition defense, you don't necessarily have a man, you have to guard the ball. And too many times we weren't able to, to stop the basketball. That's one thing that we have to do. The next thing that we have to do is, is offensively, we have to continue to play with power and put people in situations where we're attacking the paint and making them guard us. Um, I thought, you know, we, we shot 17 free throws. Uh, we missed seven of those. But, you know, I want us to get to the free throw line 21, 22 times a game. That's going to put pressure on the other team. That's going to put teams in foul trouble as well. So those are just a couple of areas that we have to get better at um, throughout the course of the ball game. But especially starting out on the road early, we let them hit their rhythm with their transition opportunities and it kind of just open the floodgate from there. Our guys did do a good job of finding ways to battle back and get into the ball game. Our zone defense gave us a chance to throw them off kilter just a little bit and they missed some shots that they probably normally make, but that's the rhythm of the game. Any other questions for coach? Oh, oh, that's funny. Um, the switching defenses, what, what did you see that made you decide to go to zone? And was a plan going in or just in moments in? A different look, yeah. you know, that's all. You know, they, they got really comfortable in their rhythm. 
and just wanted to throw a little change up at them. I didn't think I was going to be able to keep us in it as long as we, we stayed in it, but they were missing. Some shots they, they probably would like to have back that they probably should have made, but nonetheless, it was the outcome that we wanted um, in terms of throwing them off their rhythm and um, them starting to miss a few shots in that zone. Did you feel like after that, you kind of shifted the momentum just by standing out the rhythm a bit? I thought, I think, you know, we, we gave ourselves some life, right? We, we, we created some energy from that, you know, because we were able to feed off the stops and go down and, and, and put pressure on them. And so I definitely think it was something that helped us early in the ball game. We just had to do a better job. We went to it late and um, you know, they got the ball to that Big Ten logo and uh, we, we, we didn't provide enough resistance to them at that point. All right, thanks coach. Thank you.